Here we are. A brand new world. Scary times. Very scary times for me. And I don't want to stay like this for very long. Here is the seed. This is found by AlexW9988. As you can see, there is a witch hut right at spawn, even with its own witch. So, this seed was the best out of quite a lot of them that I found and was suggested to me. And, um, quite a lot of my viewers are now Feed the Beast viewers, and they haven't seen how I play vanilla. So, let's have a look at what I want to be doing before episode 10. I need to build an updated version for 1.5 of my Enderman farm, the Hooker. And of course, all new worlds need a source of iron, so we're going to be building an updated iron farm as well. And of course, the world needs an even more insane way to get gold. Could be nice. And with all that, it means that I need to go kill the Ender Dragon. So, I need to get myself situated here with some general first resources of the world, collect up some animals and things, and then I'll be back to you with a little update of how I'm doing. <laughs> I did comment though, I am not been punching wood on camera, don't worry, I am not having a slow paced world. And also, my texture pack, I'm going to implement it step by step and update it as I go, so it'll ease you into it if you haven't seen it before. So, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, some of the formalities of the world are out the way with. I got some iron and got some gear. Got my bed set and gathered a few items. I went and secured the village, which is just over there, if you're interested. Closed all the doors, walled them up, saved the villagers. Should be safe, so that I can use them for my iron farm, which will be going here somewhere. So why did I pick this as a seed, and why did I want a witch hut inside spawn chunks? Well, this whole series is going to be based around the technicalities of spawn chunks. There's some really amazing things which I want to do with it, which I've not seen anyone else do before. And I think it'll be really original Let's Play to be able to do it here. So, in these 12x12 12 12 chunks, which takes up spawn, I want to have a witch hut, which I've got. So that's going to be spawning witches and then collect the drops. I also want an iron farm, a hostile mob farm, a passive slime farm. I'm going to call it passive slime farm because I'm not going to be using slime chunks. I'm going to ignore them completely. I want an overworld, as in on the surface, slime farm, which I've not seen yet from anyone else, which would be quite cool. I don't know much slime, but it'd be really cool to do that. Over there is a tiger biome, so I can go get some ice from there when I have silk touch. There's some extreme hills over there, which will become my mining shafts. I'm going to do a nice area. So, my Let's Plays are always incredibly progressive, incredibly technical, when I can. And this could be no different. But in this time, I really want to emphasize on things to look good, at the same time as being practical. And I would love the interaction on this series. Any suggestions you have, 
any ideas you have. If you want to send me any examples of things I should build or styles of building, I'd love to know. I'm not a very good builder. I'm a very good technical person. So things I think look good work, but not necessarily look good to you guys. So interaction is key for this series. and I'm really interested to have that. So I've got some animals here. That's good. And during this whole series, I'm going to be doing a lot of things which will be quite complicated. And I won't show you every little single thing for them. I just want to do kind of a a world tour kind of thing, but do it progressively as we go. So every few hours I spend, I'll show you a couple of minutes of progress and talk to you about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. The more technical stuff I'll probably go through as well. But we're going to do separate videos for tutorials, so I'll probably do tutorials on how to find spawn chunks, which I will be mapping out soon, as soon as I get some speed potions and into nether. So yeah, anything you ever want from the series, just ask, I'm always in the comments. So, next thing I need is some diamonds. So, I'll be back to you when I've located some diamonds. Excellent, first diamonds located. Now there is some other ones as well that I did find, but I actually got a bit sidetracked clearing up the area first, so I'll get them in a minute. I'm being very cautious compared to normal, because I am in only in iron, and mobs are a lot stronger than they used to be. <laughs> I'm not used to having much trouble with mobs, but they are more of a threat now, definitely. So I'll find these are the diamonds, I'll be right back. Oh, they're just here actually. <laughs> okay, so do I have a water bucket on me? No, I don't. Hmm. Kind of getting a bit full on items already, this series. I generally have quite a full invent, it would seem. Put that down there. Don't want to get knocked in lava straight away. Not on the first day of Minecraft. So, why did I call this series King Plays Minecraft? No, it's not the kingdom anymore. I loved having it as a named thing before. But, that's a weird sound. Actually, I've got an enderpearl as well. I found that a lot of people didn't actually know it was my Let's Play. And were really surprised when I actually found it. They're like, wow, I didn't know this was there. Which really disheartened me, so it's definitely just to stand up straight away, King plays Minecraft. Hopefully that's quite obvious for new people, of which there are quite a few. So that's eight diamonds, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna go and mine some obsidian, I don't need to show you that, and make a enchantment table. I'll be back to you when that's ready. <laughs> and here we go. Hopefully this isn't too fast paced for some people. And in go diamonds, in go these, and in goes a book. First enchantment table of the world. Now I did spend a while and got enough books for the rest of it. I also made my first little contraption. I actually made a hopper. And this is a little egg farm. So I use this just to populate a whole load of them, just for now. And then I'll get some feathers from that and get some arrows if I don't get an infinity bow. So this should be a maximum sized one. And first enchantment's going to go on this pick. I really hope for fortune. Ah, okay, not as good then. And I might as well just enchant this bow as well. Oop. Ah, power two, lame. Okay, so next thing I need to do is go to the Nether. And what we really need to do is just get to dragon as fast as I can. So we'll just go through, I think, and see where we end up. And I will be moving everything around in nether, I would have a proper nether hub kind of area. Oh, a little bit of lag. Let's wait for this to generate. Okay, I admit, I keep getting distracted. I went and did a load of mining. I only got 26 levels with nether quartz. And I did locate the stronghold. And I've also got a little chest down here with a spare flint steel. In case anything goes wrong. I've had quite a lot of problems sometimes with some worlds where you get stuck on one side and you don't really want to kill yourself. So let me just dump this stuff back. I've got a nice little chest here of stuff. Put that in there. I've got the obsidian with me as well if I want to get a way back. And I've got my first ghast here. 
So yeah, let's go back after I get rid of this. Mm, yes, okay. And the aim now is to get some blaze rods. Pretty simple stuff. Um, it's down here actually. And I will be making this into a proper nether hub and nether transport system. Like a really nice slick one. So that will be have to move all that to the roof. And then because of the beacon changes, I think when I get some beacons, they're going to go on top of the nether. And I'm going to be able to use them inside the nether, which would be pretty cool. Um, I'm going to use that as much before. Let's go around here. And then once I've got my blaze, all I need to do is do some potions, get some more blaze, probably do some enchantments off the blaze, and then get some endermen. Now there's not really that much that you need to do to kill the end dragon. I think that's a blaze spawn up there. I will kill you though, because I will want some magma slimes. Magma creams, if you would. Nope. Okay. So I haven't looked at this yet. I don't know how big it is. I need some nether water as well, that'd be helpful. It looks like there's a blaze spawn up there. I don't know about the rest. I don't really want to be stuck in a load of wither skellies though yet. I guess it's all loading. Oh, it's. Oh, yep, yeah, definitely loading still. Gotta love the nether lag. And let's see. Hmm. Mm, does go quite far. Oh, there is a wither skelly up there though. That's quite good. Okay, so this looks quite a big one. Now, I'm looking at thinking if this can be a good location for a little wither farm. I can see quite a few skellies just there. What's here? Let's have a little look. Okay, I'm going to nose my way around a bit and have a little look. That's another blaze spawner, isn't it? That's quite cool. Hopefully I don't die. Come on, walk down. Thank you. Not really something I want to get in the way of yet in this world, all these wither skellies. But anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of digging around. I'll probably turn one of these blaze spawners into a little farm. And then I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so. I went and got my blaze rods. They were quite easy. Got some levels. Ah! And these are not fun when you're in iron. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Grab some of these. Already got some of the dirt already. Just need a few because we can grow them overground now. And I got the sounds down because the blaze were really loud when I was killing them. <laughs> really loud. So that is the, all I was really here for actually. Just blaze and nether wart and soul sand. 25 blaze rods, that should be plenty as long as I don't die. It's actually the second fortress I came to. The first one didn't have any. Um, water in it at all whatsoever. We'll just walk back and I'll just show you my little tiny blaze farm. There's actually two spawners in this one as well. One there, and there's one just down here as well. They may even be close enough. No, 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 no chance. There's the other one. Um, so yeah, the fortress I had the first of all would be really good one for some sort of wither spawner or wither trap. Could be cool. And let's go down here. And we're literally just across the side from the other one. Go through here without getting on fire, hopefully. So yeah, that's all I really need from the nether from now. And we'll come back here and do something really nice and proper sometime. But today, I just want to kill the ender dragon and get some ender pearls. That's my aim. That's the goal. We're going to go for it. Quite a nice little thing to do for the first episode. And then I can really hunker down with some extra hours between episodes and get some things built and organise nether portal and stuff and really map some stuff out I don't want to do that on camera, that's really really boring then we can go back and be with some really nice cool interesting stuff because everything's much more fun when I have some resources so just over here is the blaze farm and I'm a little bit um, overconfident in here already um, keep nearly dying but uh I've only died once, and that was because a skelly, uh, with a skelly, managed to poke me, which wasn't very fun. I did have 30 levels, and I did die, so I've got two sets of arm with me. I've got my second set with me as well, which I made to come here, and I had to return with my partly broken one. I wouldn't mind a skull, actually. Wouldn't mind. No, there is one there. So this is a nice little tower here for a blaze farm, which I think I probably will make into a permanent blaze farm, as it's quite convenient. Um, little tower thing, I just made this and this is just using 
the part where they can't hit you at all. I love the other half slabs now. You can just poke them, kill them, and they'll come back, and then uh, get free blaze rods. Really quite nice to have. So there's a little tiny experience grinder there as well, and you know, the aim for today is to build an Enderman experience grinder, which is quite a little achievement, like I said. But yeah, I've got all the stuff from the nether that I needed, and I can go brew up some potions, and that's what I really need, isn't it? I've got enough blaze rods. I brought up some potions anyway, and then I need to kill some endermen. So, grind up some more levels. Maybe get a looting sword. A looting sword would be the best thing for the moment. And then I can get some really nice ender pearls. But before that, I will see you in a bit when I go back. Lots of stuff done. Made some nice patches, set up some enchanting stuff, and with all the potion stuff. And it's looking quite nice. Got some more chickens going. Got a little house here. No, make a little effort to make it look good as I go. Probably will rip down in a due course, but for the moment it's here. This is my little house. I actually made two ender chests with those two ender pearls I had. Stuff in here. Got some stuff here ready for the dragon. Just general blocks. Nice little thing there. Some stuff there. Potions, did a load of brewing, very good. Got a load of wood, and got some redstone stuff. Yes! So, as it's getting to night time, I really need to go and find lots of endermen now. And I've got 37 levels, so I can either do an enchantment on my pickaxe, hope for more diamonds and ores and stuff, or I could fix this one, or I can enchant this for a looting. But I think I'm going to have to enchant this. Fortune. That's okay. Not great. Not great at all. Um, ugh. That's disgusting, isn't it? Hmm. But for this one, it's quite cheap to repair. You see, there's 17 diamonds for that. A 17 experience. Might be worth doing if we combine it with something. Maybe combine these two together when they get broken. But I'm really going to save up for enchantment on this one now. And try and get a looting sword because Endermen are really annoying to get pearls from. But yeah, I'm going to do loads of caving now. I've got quite a lot of time to do that <laughs> while I wait for Enderman. So I'll be back to you when I've got a load more stuff done. Okay, got myself a decent pick. Lovely. <laughs> and uh, what I'll do now is just get those Ender Pearls and get some arrows. So, it took me a little more while. I did get a decent sword. Let's go knock back on it so that Endermen do run away, but yeah, I'll carry on, and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so after quite a few nights of grinding Endermen, I have enough pearls now, 18 of them. But you need 12 for the portal, that means I have 6 that I could burst, trying to find the end portal itself. So I'm just going to make these up now, there we go, and the rest. Now, the ones I don't use for the portal, I'll use for ender chests anyway, so not really a waste there at all. And when it gets to the end, I'm not going to be really bothered about wasting ender pearls, am I? So I've got my ender chest, and in my ender chest I've got a whole load of stuff. I've got my power 3 bow, a load of arrows, and I really want to try and make that a power 4 bow maybe, but for the moment I need to find the end portal itself. So I've also geared up with some obsidian, and some it's still. Actually, I'll get them out when I find the portal itself. So when I find the portal, I'll put down the chest, make a nether portal, map it up to here, so I can get back easily. I've got some food and stuff on me, got potions. So really, I'm just going to fire one and take a speed potion and go for quite a long way. So it's actually that way. Okay. So I'm just going to do that, run for a couple of minutes and then do another one. Hopefully I'll get to the end portal in time. I have no idea where it is. And <laughs> doing this on the first episode, there's no spoilers for the seed, so that's awesome. And uh, I haven't really planned anything out for what we'll be doing over at the end portal yet. So hopefully it isn't in the ocean itself, which it might be. So I'm gonna get swimming and I'll be back to you hopefully when I've found it. Okay, I think I found it. And it should be down here somewhere. I've got fifteen eyes of ender left. So what I'm gonna do is just dig downwards and put a ladder. Hopefully though, once I've found it, I'll never need to come overworld again. Now I'll have the nether and that'll be much easier. 
and it doesn't really matter where this ends up. At the moment this is a desert next to a swamp, so not really well, it's quite good for a desert I guess, if I want to do any mining for sand here. Yep, yeah, probably is a good idea actually then. And then once I'm down there and got a portal set up, I never need to come down there again. No, I don't need to go to the surface anymore, I mean. So it doesn't really matter, does it? Down we go then. Now hopefully this ender pearl I vendor has gone to the right place, exactly. I don't want to spend more of them to make sure because no, I don't want to risk not getting all of them into the portal now. And I've got quite a little plan to do something different in the end. Um, I don't want the dragon to die over the land. Oh, yep, yeah, we've definitely hit it. I want to lure the dragon way away from the island itself. This is silverfish, isn't it? No, it isn't. Oh, we are in it. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. So I don't want the end dragon to die over land. I want him to die where I want him to. And that... I don't want to kill you, do I? Okay, one hit. That's okay. Oh, there's a train track underneath. Ah. Okay, this is merged into a... Um, mine shaft. Oh. As long as I one hit you, you're fine. Okay, yes. What do I want to do? I want to lure the dragon into um, the void and make it die there. Now, dragons, when they die, they always create a portal at y equals 65. It's a bit of a weird place, isn't it? I'm just going to ignore that. They always die at y equals 65, so if you make a portal out in the abyss, then you'll still get a nice floating portal, which is quite cool. And for that then, for the rest of the time I'm in the end, I can easily just walk back and from my Enderman farm, and don't really need to go anywhere else, and that'd be nice and simple. I think this is secured now. Um, I'm not going to destroy the spawner, I made that mistake last series. I'm just going to find somewhere to make a portal though, and see where we actually end up. Oh, there's two pearls in it already. Okay, let's make a portal here, I think. Can always move it afterwards. And there we go. And we we'll put down a chest, the bed, set our spawn. They are still spawning, aren't they? So, what I want to do first is go through and basically just make a massive bridge away away so that I can lure the dragon over there when it's nearly dead and then kill it. So, I was put in this moment, make my portal. Let me see, you need to go down one. Oh, you're silverfish. As long as I want to hit you, you're fine. You're silverfish as well, so no, you're not. Okay. Urgh, that's why I brought extra with me. This is going to annoy me, isn't it? Yep. So, let me just place this and destroy that. Efficiency 4 for the win. Make this, and then we see where we are. Go away. See where it ends up. Hopefully, at the moment we're about, I think, a thousand blocks away from spawn. So it should be about a hundred blocks from here. Okay, this is not new generation, I'm guessing. Because the lava is already flowing. So where are we in here? I don't recognise this. Then again, you don't really expect to recognise the nether. May have a look. Mm, no, I don't know where I am. So, I will find out the actual coordinates over the overworld, and then we'll map it back. But for now, I'm just going to go through the end portal, and take loads of cobblestone with me, nothing else, leave it all here in a chest, and make a massive bridge out into the void. And then I'll be back to give you some progress. So let me just dump these in here first, just to show that I've done it. And that spawner needs to be made safe. Don't want to stand... Oh. Don't want to stand on it because it will send me through. There we are. Is that made the portal? Yes it has. Very good. So, 
I'll get back to you in a bit. I know it's a bit weird not showing this bit, but it's going to be quite a few times of dying, coming back, dying, coming back, and just placing loads and loads of floor, and um, just to get far away from the dragon. So, I'll be back to you in a bit. Platform is now completed. It's about 150 blocks long away from the island. So the aim is to get the dragon down to low health, really low health, and then run over there, try not to die, and finish him off. Doesn't matter exactly where he gets, just the further it out it gets the better. And I've got my nice armor on now, I've got my nice stuff, got my regen, I made two more ender chests with the rest of the ender pearls and the ender eyes, and has some sitting anyway. So that's quite nice, so I can dump them down, so if I'm going to die or I'm not going to make it, I can then just get rid of that. Dump the stuff into the chest, and keep it safe. Um, and I can punk stuff down in case I run out of everything. Now I'm quite worried about this because I have killed a few of the healing towers already with snowballs. Yep, I've done some without you, I'm sorry. I'm trying to fit some in one episode though. And I don't want to try and kill all the healing things. Just try and get down here as quick as we can. Over there is the long bridge, but I want to show you that now. I've lit up a few of these areas, so it shouldn't be as bad. As you can see, I haven't used this bow yet. So, let's just see how many healers we can not kill doing this. I've killed these ones here, and I killed this one and not that one. Oop. So, I'm going to probably speed this up really, really quickly and cut lots of it out, because Ender Dragon fights are incredibly boring. And all I want is the end result. And that's really what I should be showing a video, if I get it there or not. So, let's go. Okay, he's almost dead. I've been trying for quite a while now to get him over to the platform. And I think the best I'm going to get is just the other side of the obsidian platform. Here he comes. And any further than that, I don't think you're going to get it. He seems to default to fly back after a little bit. But I think I can get him just far enough. This might take quite a while though, so I will cut to when I get him over there. Come on, dragon, come on. Where are you? Here he comes, here he comes. No! Ah, come on. Come back. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Go on, you gotta... Ah, oh, no. Dude. Come on. Come on. Fly over to me. Here he comes, here he comes. Here he comes. There he is. <laughs> Got him. I did die and had to come back, but there he goes. Y equals 65, that should be. Should be. Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> Phew. God. So that's best I got it. I don't think you can get too much better than that, and I really couldn't pull him out any further. Um, so yeah, I've got a obsidian pla uh, <laughs> bedrock platform with a step on it. Cool. So let's just get back there now, I think. Uh, it should be nice and safe. So for the rest of today, I want to make a simple enderman farm, um, just for collecting some ender pearls. Not a major one, um, just a really, really cheap one, so I don't have much resource at the moment. Can't, is that all the experience I'm going to get? I guess some of it went into the void. And I best put some ladders onto here. Now, in theory, this end should be safe now, because all this bit down here is lit up. Nothing can spawn. In theory. <laughs> um... So yeah, I'll leave the dragon egg there for now. I don't want to lose it. But yeah, I'm going to pick up some materials now to make a little enderman farm. Very quick one. Just want to grind some experience out for that. And I did connect the portals up back to spawn, so I can go do some enchantments actually. So I'm going to go set up some stuff, and I'll be back for the end, I think. Okay, try my luck with a silk touch enchantment, maybe. Mmm, it's okay. 
I'll deal with that. Okay, I've gone ahead and made a just one platform thing up there for Enderman. Very simple design, very basic, very inefficient, and of course it's only one layer. You're not going to get very many spawns at all. But it's generating some ender pearls, which is what I want. And if I wait for a little while, I probably could punch some Enderman from experience, and it would work fine. And that's what I really wanted, to be honest. Just enough to get some experience, so I can get some efficiency things, and fortune things, and silk things, so I can then go and collect materials for a proper Enderman farm. But yeah, that is, I think, a, a good little first thing. So we've got a chief today, we've killed the end dragon, we got our first little tiny grinder, it's not very good, but uh, it won't be ever very long at all, maybe two episodes or something. And uh, yeah, we've got all the stuff we needed to go. So hopefully you've enjoyed today. Hopefully it's not been too rush rush for you because I want to get straight away into really cool projects like where I left off in my old Let's Play, but on here instead. So I can really do some epic stuff. So hopefully I've tempted you on the series. If you've been there for FTB, hopefully you'll stick around. So, thank you for watching. And from me, King Happy, goodbye, farewell. I'll see you next time.